In this video, I'm going to share with you a low competition evergreen niche for merch by Amazon. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print on demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on merch by Amazon. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. Now, before I share with you that low competition evergreen niche for merch by Amazon, I just want to do a quick sales update. So it is currently 5.38 p.m. on a Wednesday afternoon and sitting at 40 sales for the day, four cancels, uh, four canceled and two returns. That's going to put me at four, uh, $53.99. And for the month, I'm sitting at 539 sales and a total of $687 in royalties. If you want to follow me on Instagram, where I post my daily sales for both Merch by Amazon and Etsy, the link is in the description. I also post like gym picks, entrepreneur picks, lifestyle picks, just like my life down here in Mexico. I'm born and raised in Mill Valley, California, but I've been living in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico for the past 18 years. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the content of the video. So first, I just want to share with you how I found this niche and kind of like what I always do like what I always like to preach about on this channel is that, you know, I always have an eye out and an ear out for niches. And so over spring break, Easter break, while my son was off of school, I was like, uh, I started like um, binging on these like travel blog videos because sometimes I get bored of living down here in Mexico and I start kind of like fantasizing about moving to other countries. And so I was watching these uh, travel videos about living in Vietnam and I kept seeing these like bloggers that were like traveling all over Vietnam that they would stop and get these banh mi sandwiches. All right. So that is the niche to have for you. It is the banh mi sandwich. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's basically a banh mi is a Vietnamese sandwich that's made up of an odd sounding combination, crusty bread roll smeared with pate, mayo, Asian ham, pickled vegetables, green onions, coriander, cilantro. Um, if you go right here, you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And it's actually really good. I don't know if you've had one of these before, but I've had one and it was delicious. It's very like fresh, crispy. Um, don't knock it before you try it. Uh, really good. Comment below if you've had one before. Um, but that is the niche. That's how I found it. And when we go to uh, Merch Informer and I just type in Ban Me, we're going to see that there is only 94 results. All right. Uh, and that's a very low in competition. And that's how many Merch by Amazon uh, shirts there are. Now, I just want to address something because I keep getting the same comment on pretty much all of these uh, low competition evergreen niches that I uh, be making. So right here, we're going to see that there's 94 results. This is how many Merch by Amazon shirts there are. If we go to Amazon and I just type in Bon Me t-shirt, we're going to see there's more results, 961 results. So why is there more results on this page than there is on this page? So this right here is how many Merch by Amazon shirts there are. Merch by Amazon shirts come with prime benefits like uh, free shipping, next day shipping. If we go right here, there's going to be 906 results. The reason there's more results is because this is all Amazon clothing products. So this is Merch by Amazon shirts. This is a fulfillment by Merch, which is like Printful, Printify, and also fulfillment by Amazon. All right. So this is clothing products on Amazon, and this is Merch by Amazon shirts. That's why the results are lower. Okay, so just had to get that out of the way because I keep getting that same comment all the time. Um, but right here, we're going to see it's low in competition, and it is selling. So the first row all has BSRs. Second row also has BSRs and reviews. Third row also has BSRs as well. So this is pretty much what we want, especially for evergreen niches, you know, low in competition and selling. And it's actually pretty easy to design for. You just got to get the Bond Me clip art, or if you're creative enough, you can come up with some type of uh, just text design, like right here, like these ones. Um, but so now we have the uh, niche. We know that's low in competition. Let's just go to Redbubble real quick because I also saw that it's pretty low in competition as well. Let me get that out of here. Um, there's only 223 results on Redbubble. You can also get some pretty good um, ideas, design ideas from here as well. Now that we have the niche, we want to see if it's safe. So we go over here to Upso. We're going to see Ban Me. There's nothing that looks like it's trademarked in the 25 class that is live. There was some dead ones, but it wasn't an exact match. It was like bond me and some other text. Um, so it looks like this phrase or niche is safe, but like I always recommend, just do your research. So now we have the niche. We know it's low in competition. We know that it is safe. So now we want to design. Now the only problem that I found with this niche when it came to designing is that I wasn't really able to find too much clip art for the actual bond me sandwich. So I went to Creative Fabrica, which is my go-to spot to find clip art, uh, designs, uh, fonts, things like that. I wasn't really able to find anything right here when I type in Bon Me. There's only this one um, uh, image right here that doesn't really work. I went to Vexels uh, and I also wasn't able to find anything also. So you're probably going to have to use, um, uh, what's it called? AI. All right. And so what I did is I came to Ideogram right here. I typed in Cartoon Bon Me and you can see here I was able to get some good images. 
Um, and the one that I decided to go with was this one right here. I thought this was the best. I popped it into Photoshop, got rid of the blue and the white circle. So let me go ahead and show you the designs that I made for this niche. Okay, so basically you just want to make a 4500 by 5400 uh, Canva. And I decided to go with the sunset, you know, the good old sunset design. You can't go wrong with it. Um, so right here you're going to see you had me at ban me. And there's certain like design phrases that do really well with food. If you've been on Merch by Amazon for a while and you've uploaded a lot into the food niches, you know that there's certain design phrases that work really well with food. And so this is one right here. You had me at, and then you basically just pop in the, the niche, whether it's ban me, whether it's pancakes, whether it's tacos, whether it's waffles. You know, you basically just said you had me at uh, ban me with the sunset, the clip art from videogram or ideogram. And then where I got the font from was from Creative Fabrica. So right here, I'm using this one. It's one of my go to ones that I like a lot. I think it's Ashton. Yeah, so this one right here, Ashton Vintage. I think it works well. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. But basically, I just took this sunset design with the Ban Me sandwich and I just scaled it. So I went with another very popular um, design phrase for the food niche, which is But First Ban Me. This is a knockoff of the But First Coffee. All right, but instead of saying coffee, I'm saying Ban Me. Next one is another also very popular one for food. I'm just here for the ban me. We see this a lot during like Thanksgiving. You know, I'm just here for the turkey, for the mashed, mashed potatoes, for the cranberry sauce. So another good one right there. And then powered by ban me. And then all you need is ban me. But I think those first three were the best. And then I tried to come up with one that was kind of creative, not really just like doing a copycat because the majority of my designs are copycats, I will admit it. Um, basically, I find a design and I try to make something similar or better or emulate it. But every now and then I try to use my own creativity and come up with my own um, creativity or basically my own design. And so what I did is I came up with this one right here where I just basically took all the ingredients. Now I'm not, I won't, you know, this is not the best design, but just give you uh, some ideas to kind of think outside of the box. So basically I just took all the ingredients of the banh mi sandwich and put it into some retro. So bread, mayo, pate, pork, carrot, cilantro, cucumber. I was trying to do something kind of like this right here, this one. Whereas basically these are like popular uh, Vietnamese dishes like po, I believe is like a soup with meat in it. Then you have banh mi. I don't know what these other three are, but I'm just assuming that they're other type of uh, banh or other Vietnamese uh, dishes. But let me know what you guys think. Just try and be creative sometimes and just not always do copycats. It's a good idea to kind of get into that habit. But these are the designs that I made. Um, and I decided to go with this one right here. You had me at by me because I thought this was the best, not just because of the design style. You know, first you have the retro design, which always sells well. We have the phrase you had me at, at you had me at, which is also a really good design phrase. Um, but another thing that I like about it is that it's funny. You know, funny designs tend to do uh, well on Merch by Amazon. So that's the one that I decided to go with. And I just came over here to uh, my Merch by Amazon dashboard. I went ahead and I uploaded it. One thing that you're going to notice is taking up all of the canvas space. That's really important. That's going to help your design stand out and pop. You can see like right here, you know, I make it nice and big. That's very important, at least in my opinion. Um, and then here are the keywords that I went with. And I'm not the best when it comes to keywords. But what I like to do is I will just come here to um, Amazon and I'll just see what other sellers are using. And I'll just kind of pick uh, keywords. So I'll take like Vietnam. I'll take like Vietnamese. I think I saw like Chef, uh, Poe, things like that. And I'll just basically keyword stuff into my listing. So right here, I went with um, Banh Mi, Vietnamese Sandwich, Vietnam, Poe, Chef, Men, Women, Kids. I also like to add in some demographics of who this might be for. Um, and then I just copy and paste. And I use that for bullet one and bullet two. Again, probably not the best advice. It's probably better to like write out a nice paragraph, but I'm just too lazy. I don't really like doing that. And then for the brand, I don't really like to use the copy and paste for my brand because then it won't show up on the Amazon listing. So what I do is I just use half of it. All right. So those were the keywords that I came up with. And then I'm going to go ahead and upload this or publish this once I'm done uh, recording. Um, but that is basically the evergreen niche to have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I uh, apologize that I haven't been uploading on a daily basis, but I'm hope hoping to get back into uh, the routine. Um, if you like this kind of content or if you want to support the channel, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I do have a couple of affiliate links in the description. One is for Creative Fabrica where I get the fonts, the designs, the clip art, then also for uh, Flying Research. 
And then if you want to know how I get sales like this on a daily basis, I also have a course. It's the first link in the description. It is a course on Udemy. It's only 20 bucks. Um, it's good for beginners or for people that are struggling to get sales on Merch by Amazon. So if you're interested, check it out. If not, it's all good. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.